So we all run into bugs every now and then. Uh, all software has bugs. And uh, luckily, Moto has the macro system, which can allow you to work around certain bugs if you run into them. And you, know, you, uh, you don't want to wait for the next version of Moto or the next three versions before they fix it. Using macros can get you uh, around issues and on your way. So we're going to take a look at a quick example that I run into a lot, or used to until I made these macros, and how I solved it. So first, let's have a look at what the problem actually is that I'm trying to solve. So typically when I'm uh, modeling a moto, I, I like to use mat caps. They look good, and when things look good, it keeps me interested. It's just, I I've talked about it before. It it it's part of my personality, so don't judge me. But, so let's turn on mat caps. Let's uh, call, it, call it the viewport texture. Pick this one. That sounds, let's pick a different one. Ooh, this one. That one, there you go. See, I like how that looks in the viewport. But the problem is, if I turn on RayGL right now, I get this. And Moto's done this for a couple of versions now. It, uh, at the full renderer, works fine. The RayGL renderer does not understand mat caps or how to disable them at render time. So if I turn this off, then everything's great again. So, uh, the way to get around this uh, problem would be to first turn off the mat cap, then do the render. And then when I come out of the render, turn the mat cap back on automatically, you know, in a seamless way that I don't notice. There's no way to do that by default, but we can record a macro to do it. So to record macros real quick, this won't be a full tutorial, but in Moto, you go to the system menu and turn on record macro. From that point forward, uh, Moto is tracking whatever you click and whatever you do. When you're done, you pull it down again, hit record macro again to stop, stop it from recording. And then you can use this option down here to save it out to a file, which will allow you to bind a hotkey to it later. And if you ever get inspired to do your macros by hand, which I often do, they're just text files with a special header. We'll see that in a second. Uh, you can open up your command history window, which is bound to the F5 key by default. And everything you do appears here uh, in the history list. So if I open this up, you can see this is all the commands I've been doing. So if I you go up here and I turn off the viewport overlays and turn them back on again, you can see those two commands have appeared right here in the list. So I can copy and paste that out and put it into the macro file. And it's just like I, yeah, I clicked on things. It's the same net effect. So let's have a look at the macros real quick, and then I'll come back and I'll demonstrate them. So these are my two macros. I have two hotkeys set up. The one on the left is bound to when I start uh, the RayGL renderer, and the one on the right is bound to when I stop the RayGL renderer. Now there's three commands in here. One, one, ena one enables or disables uh, the viewport you know, overlays, which is the mat cap. The second one turns on or off the RayGL you know, viewport mode. Uh, and the third one is something I haven't talked about yet. It just toggles off the wireframe view because I hate when I hit render and the mesh has the wireframe on it. That's like not what I'm here to see at all. So I just automate that process. Uh, these are bound to variations of the R key. And uh, yeah, we'll see how they work here in a second. But you can see at the top of the file, there's uh, that LX macro thing. That tells Moto that it's executing a macro. I don't know that the LXM file extension is important or not, but it may be, so keep that in mind. So back in Moto for a quick demonstration of how this works in my everyday uh, working life. Uh, Control R to render this mesh. Fires off my begin macro. You can see we've turned off everything and turned on other things. And Control Shift R gets me out of that, turns everything back on again, and I'm ready to continue working with my lovely mat cap still in place. So not the most complicated of examples, yeah, but I hope that gives you, you know, the inspiration and, and, the, and the push maybe to explore macros a little deeper because you really can't improve your working life if you put a little thought into it. Thanks for watching.